Welcome back everybody. Today we're looking at our five minute routine to help with symphysis pubis dysfunction. So our first exercise is engaging the pelvic floor. So what I want you to imagine is you're lifting up into the pelvis as if you're lifting your pelvic floor up towards your belly button, holding for five seconds and then relaxing. So I always think it's like layers of a lift. So you think you're lifting up through, so trying to lift up towards your belly button, engaging that for five seconds and then relaxing. And we want to repeat this over 30 seconds. Once you've mastered this, we can engage it with diaphragm breathing. So as we breathe in, we push the tummy out. And as we breathe out, as you can see here, you lift up through. So same motion, but you're doing it with your out breath. So as you breathe in, you push the tummy out, pushing it as far as you can through the diaphragm. And as you breathe out, pull it up tight, holding a couple of seconds in end range, and then relaxing. And you're repeating that over 30 seconds. Next, we're going on to strengthening around the area. So symphysis pubis dysfunction is a lot of laxity around the front of the pelvis. So we want to engage the muscles around. So glute med and minimus are absolutely fantastic. So they're located on the side of the pelvis right there. What you want to do is have the knees together, lying on your side. You're going to lift up and hold for a couple of seconds on end range. So you should be engaging where I was adding my hand and then relaxing through. So we're going to do 30 seconds on one side move into a gentle glute bridge for 30 seconds so turning onto your back engaging up for a couple of seconds into glute max and relaxing so 30 seconds through here lifting up through holding engaging the core in tight so again if we can strengthen the muscle that can help to add a little bit of stability where we get a lot of instability around spd and then once we move into the glute bridge moving on to the opposite side to activate through glute med and min so same but on the opposite side Another element that I like to add in, which again is very much related to how each person feels, is trying to stretch certain muscle groups because when something's really lax, key areas get incredibly tight, including the adductors and the hamstrings, where they're trying to regain that movement and that stability. So you can very gently add in an adductor and a hamstring stretch combined. So again, we're not forcing it, so leg out in front. As you're leaning down towards the legs, slightly off to the outer part of the legs, you'll feel it in the inner part, holding for 30 seconds and then gently switching sides. So you see leg out straight, bending it in towards, leaning down towards the legs to feel it around the back. And then as I lean slightly out to the side, which you can see, you should feel it into the adductors, aiming for 30 seconds. So again, if you're in a painful range, if this is too uncomfortable, just stick to the other exercises. It's just what I've seen in clinic and completion. We want to get key areas relaxed as well. So again, still looking at this same idea, really common to get a lot of tightness around the front of the hip flexors. So again, as far as you feel comfortable, so you do not have to lunge this far into the hip flexor stretch so add it in very gently it just allows for optimal mobility so 30 seconds on one side and then 30 seconds on the opposite side so just adding that really nice deep release because yes we feel it around the front but very common with women that i see to have it in lots of different areas so just gently regaining a little bit of a stretch as far as you feel comfortable 30 seconds on each side The final element I like to add in is just, just general mobility, which is what we looked at with the sacroiliac joint routine. So what I'm doing here is very gently pushing back into child's pose. So this is opening up through certain joints and stretching into that lower back. And then as you come down, you can come at a slight angle just to tip through the pelvis. So instead of going directly back straight into a child's pose, we can come off at a slight angle. It just helps to add in a little bit of movement and we want to do this for about 30 seconds. 